everybody. It's anime club time. It's anime club time. Anime club. I'm <laughs> I'm Allie. This is Chris. I'm Club. And Arrow. I guess that means I'm anime. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh and we watched uh, the last six episodes of Jellyfish Can't Swim in the Night. Yep. Uh, I thought, very good. Yeah, I really enjoyed this one, actually. I popped uh, open my... I, I put my um phone in my pocket, and I couldn't remember why, because it needs charged. And then I remembered now, because we brought this up, that, oh, that's where all my notes are. Because I took notes because I enjoyed the second half of this anime. Uh-huh. Ooh, sweet. So cool. that's cool. Yeah, it was uh, very good. I, you know, I, I think uh, if you haven't seen it and uh, you are any kind of creative i think you'll you'll relate to it a lot um i think if you are like trying to figure out your identity and your place in the world it also you can relate to it i don't know i uh i definitely really relate to uh kiwi <laughs> yeah you know what you know what parent issues that's where i am on that one with uh, uh-huh. was Kano or Kano? Kano? Kano. 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 Yeah, that's what I was remembering. Okay, but I got it written down because I can't remember names for you know anything. Uh huh. So, uh, yeah, the parent issues thing. I was like, okay, cool. So this has got a bit for me too. So even if you're not uh, searching for your identity or uh, having trouble figuring out your place in the world, as Ali said, uh, maybe you've got parental issues like I do. So it's got that in there too. <laughs> Like, I know that the mom is kind of supposed to redeem herself a little bit at the end, but I don't, I don't feel like she earned it. It's a it's diet, a diet uh, redeeming. Yeah. Yeah. Like, the, the entire time, like, even, even at the very end during like the the epilogue stuff i was still like i fucking hate you <laughs> get out of here is is this a one season anime because it might just be that they wanted to tie it all up to have a happy ending oh yeah it, like, oh shit we don't have time for this it is a one season um okay. i i really doubt that they're gonna make a second season <laughs> yeah i'd be because it's curious where they would even like go from here because they kind of finished their thing right yeah it it wraps up very succinctly and uh honestly i i don't think i would want them to make a second season <laughs> there's been a lot of shows i i mean this is japan so it's much more likely that they'll actually uh adhere to what an audience cares about in regards to uh, that portion at least uh if this were america there'd be five seasons oh yeah oh, absolutely yeah it just become a they'd be or like something. <laughs> yeah they'd be like <laughs> Oh, we were only planning on making one season, but this was really popular, so we're going to make 15 seasons. And a spinoff. It's Disney yeah. time, baby. <laughs> My, uh, let me, let me, so, there's a lot of good stuff that I noted here. A lot of good stuff, but there's got to be one little thing I got to, I got to look at here. It's a, a little weird, a little weird to me. Seemed normal in the show, maybe it's just me, I don't know. Figured I'd ask you guys about it. Uh, and I even wrote down the name. This was the first name I learned in this show besides the main characters. And that was, a uh, Koharu, the, uh, the biker chick that's yeah. teaching them how to ride the bike. What the hell is up with that? How old is that lady? I, I don't know. I don't know. That, that was, that was kind of weird. It was a little weird. Yeah. Yeah. Just, uh, you know, uh, Possibly like late twenties woman hanging out with a bunch of eighteen year olds. <laughs> yeah, uh, lots. 
I, I appreciate that they're uh, that uh, they were open about the whole plastic surgery thing, but that still doesn't really help with the everything else in the situation. <laughs> where I'm like, okay, so I guess y'all are dating straight now? up. <laughs> And come Straight in here up, and, yeah, touch me a little. Straight up saying, I hope this isn't illegal. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just drop that line in the middle of it. Like, yep, already doing it. I hope it's not illegal. <laughs> <laughs> It was really, like, just out of the blue, too. It's <laughs> like, okay. Yeah. And that's the only thing in the entire the entire series so far. Or, if you know, it's one series, one season. But that's the only thing in there that's like that. It's it's so yeah. just out there. Maybe because maybe the thought is, well, here's a weird chick. Like, maybe they think weird in a good way. And she gets with uh, Kiwi, who's a little different. Or I got that name right, right? Yeah, Kiwi. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I don't yeah. think I don't think they're dating. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there, but at the very end, they. I think like, they're just friends. We could visit in person if you want. I don't know. Yeah. Um. But I had to talk about that before gushing about all the good shit. Yeah. Speaking Figured. of speaking of uh Kiwi, um. They actually play a game that is a real game. I wonder. It looks that. too like not like a joke. <laughs> I I thought I recognized it the first time that they showed footage. Um but then then they like Kiwi straight up says uh calls it Exo. Uh oh. they're referring to Exo Primal. Oh the, oh oh yeah, I remember that sh- that game. I didn't play it, but it looks funny. <laughs> yeah, it it's <laughs> it's uh it's exosuit like soldiers versus dinosaurs. Yeah, it sounds like an Earth That's Defense a... Force scenario to me. It um, also sounds like a little boy's dream game. <laughs> currently sitting at mixed reviews on Steam <laughs> mm. because uh it's it's not that good <laughs> that's too bad it's really funny that they actually just did that in the show yeah um <laughs> capcom is in the credits oh <laughs> oh they paid for that that's yeah hilarious. or got paid for it yeah there's a um, very interesting <laughs> rem- reminds me of various other ad placements i've seen in movies where there's just a random toyota in it or something yeah <laughs> but uh yeah, I was looking at that game too, and uh, I was like, you know, that actually kind of looks like a game, uh-huh. which is a weird thing to say. I mean, obviously, it looks like a game, but I think yeah, like in you know. in in most things, you would see like a a game, and it's just a fake thing that yeah. somebody like <laughs> like some intern three D modeler put together. <laughs> Yeah, it's not like it, it was like there was way too much work put into it, right? Like that's right. Yeah. yeah. With the rise of AI, I could see you getting away with some of those really, really bad AI videos, like on one oh, of those yeah. screens in the background. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, it's it's a real game. Watch out for Nox R- Ryugasaki. Yeah. If you play Exo Primal. <laughs> <laughs> God, I hmm. There's got to be fans of that who are are also fans of this, right? Oh yeah, yeah. So, uh, I actually had trouble telling the part that that uh, Kohara chick with uh, uh-huh. the mom, who's you can hate for a little bit there. I oh, thought yeah. they were the same character almost for a moment. I'm like, okay, what's going on? But then, <laughs> then, uh, then I actually like when I was looking up the names. When I was, because I was doing the notes as I was watching, I was like, "Oh, okay, good. They're different people. That's a lot better than what could have been happening." <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, yeah, they got they got some similar haircut yeah, I going can forgive on. You. They, had, they had some similar design traits, right? Like with the short yeah. hair and the earrings. Yeah. Ah, uh, what what do I what do I want to talk about? <laughs> Marrow. What? What did you say? Marrow. Meryl? Meryl. 
Oh, Miro. Miro oh. The, yeah, the the sh yeah. the sun down the sun sun drop girl. The biatch. Yeah, the yeah. Who, yeah, who's also like the the secret informant. The internet troll. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I <laughs> I feel like she's another character who like only barely earned her redemption <laughs> in the end where it was just like oh uh fucking <laughs> like oh i i understand what you're going through because uh you're just lonely and like oh, okay sure <laughs> whatever i oh, i I go ahead. I don't know. I like. I feel like it wasn't so much a redemption, it's just like kind of like an understated bit of introspection, right? Because like they never, yeah. there was no confrontation, there was no like apologizing, but she did get opinions from other people who didn't know that she did that, and I think yeah. the idea is that she wasn't actively doing it since like the last thing. I can't remember that. Right. So, but also like. I don't know, I feel like her reaching out to Kano and stuff is, like, something and being willing to cross that divide. Yeah. She 100% deserved getting popped in the face. Like. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Like, she did some shit things. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Just perpetuating toxic idol culture. Yeah. Her that was a weird little speech she had when they were in the karaoke room. Her and the only character I think who I didn't write the name down of Kim. 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 Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that was a weird little speech she had. I think that's where you're talking about the introspective thing, right? No, I was just well, talking about there, like, the way there was she also acts. when and like when she talks. Well, like, there was me. also yeah when when. Uh, her and Mahira were in the car. Oh, and, right, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah they're... Mahira's, like, talking about, like, oh, like, I I think what you did was bad, but also, like, I understand why you did it. Yeah. The fact that she doesn't seem to enjoy what she's doing is kind of sad. I think she said that... Uh... Yeah, yeah she she's doesn't like that singing. she's that she's only really doing it to be famous. Yeah. Yeah, like didn't she essentially just say it was like almost for Yukine as well, like Yeah. Which is like, okay, so you're pushed into here and then you're pushed to stay. You should probably leave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But maybe that's well, why you, she starts to like, warm up to Kano. You don't like what you're doing. Because <laughs> she sees, like, Kano do that. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Definitely wrong about Kano. She thought it was... She wanted there to get no Aspire mom. Uh-huh. Whereas more... Like, I guess towards the end there, she's like, yeah, it was nice to get no Aspire my mom. But at the same time, I th I think... And I think it's implied, at least, that it was it wasn't for a mom. It was more for uh, help me out here. Uh, a hero, the or... brown hair chick who does the art. Is that yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That it's for her. Yeah, definitely. I definitely got that name written down here, but I got honestly, <laughs> I should have just written them in context or something. <laughs> this is how bad I am. Anyway. Yeah, no, it was it was definitely for her more so, but mom thing too, I guess. I don't know. Well, it's kind of weird. It's not super clear. There was that whole like uh part of an episode, right, where she had this whole like issue where like she was like working she was, she was trying to do stuff for Mahiro and like it when Mahiro left to do things for her mom, it like freaked her out, right? So I think the uh -huh. idea is that she's found something else that's not just solely Mahiro to do it. Right. Yeah. yeah. Also, oh, that face Mahiro made oh, after yeah. she got yelled at. <laughs> we all took pictures of it, I'm sure it looks like. <laughs> yeah. Uh that was a uh... So I I think they it obviously weepy, but uh I had some trouble. I'm not fully sure what they intended by it. It was very it was a messy face for sure. <laughs> I don't even remember the scene it was in, I'll be honest. 
<laughs> just after she freaked out about uh, the one that I took a picture of with her was uh, when she got a phone call, which really came out oh, of yeah. the blue. That picture. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, that's that's when she got a phone call. But there was an earlier one in the episode where uh, she got yelled at by uh, Kano, and uh, she uh, it showed her reaction to it, you know, and she was real weepy and sad about mm. something, something like, "Oh, that's is that all you think of me or something?" But and it shows the face, and I know it's supposed to be like a a sad, like I guess conflictive face. But man, it it was it was it was. <laughs> It was a mess. I wasn't quite. Sh- it's like I knew what they wanted to portray, but they didn't. Uh-huh. Uh, they didn't really nail it. I'll have to fi- give me a second. I can find it. I think the one time I I really like laughed out loud was the uh, the the part where Kim is like stalking. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my fuck! The hands on the window. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty wild. It's like, oh, that's yeah, that's that's wild. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's funny that she's like using her <laughs> her skills as a fucking stalker. <laughs> her two online skills. <laughs> yeah. Also, uh, she's like. The one, I feel like the one character who is absolutely confirmed not straight. <laughs> oh, absolutely. She even, when she was trying to get Kano to come back, she was, it's like, prove why I loved you or something, why I love yeah. you or something like that. Yeah, absolutely. And, and just like, instantly <laughs> defeated by being... Uh, kissed on the cheek by a yeah. cute girl. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of funny, honestly. So that's not what. No, no. Uh, oh, oh, yes. Okay, thank you. Wait, wait, wait. And then she has to go chasing after. Her. Oh, and their singing sucks. We found that out for sure. Uh huh. Yep. Yeah. It's really <laughs> that cute. was some bad singing. <laughs> I actually turned down the TV at that moment a little bit too, because <laughs> I was like, "Damn, that is bad." It was so it was loud and off key. Yep, and constantly her voice was breaking because she's also crying at the same time. Yeah, they're they're pretty accurate on these uh, comments and comment sections too. Yeah, <laughs> they're wild. Man, every time I saw like the hate comments, I was just like, "Just do it for spite." <laughs> At that point, <laughs> you know. <laughs> like I don't know, maybe maybe I've just been on the internet too long, but like that that's the kind of thing where like if everybody if a bunch of people just started leading hate comments i'd be like oh okay whatever yeah <laughs> and just just kept going i mean it worked for ice jj fish if you're familiar with him no no oh oh <laughs> the bad movies it, he he tommy why so equivalent for like uh, r&b music okay interesting he uh Oh man, I'll have to show you guys later. It's it's. I'll, I'll just link it at some point, but uh, no, we don't need to listen to that right now, obviously. But yeah, I guess, I guess I'm also the kind of person who doesn't really make stuff necessarily for other people's approval, and I just make stuff because I want to make stuff. So, like, hate comments don't really get to me. Although, uh, getting doxxed is kind of a nightmare. <laughs> mm. Oh, yeah, I think that is for just about anybody. Well, I mean, you know, some people just put their entire identity out there yeah, from day one. And, like, 
Mm-hmm. You can't you can't get doxed if you <laughs> if you dox yourself. I, I am I am so good because it's not the doxing part that's the bad part. Uh huh. It's it's the shit that comes after that, which you know isn't a problem if people don't know where you live. Yeah. Well, for for me, it's it's more. You know, I've I'm. I feel more insulated if <laughs> nobody knows my name or what I look like. <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. That's that's why I'm never going to show my face <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> Maybe I'll go out there one day in a full ski mask and a pair of sunglasses. Yeah. <laughs> That's a face, right? That counts. Get some bone structure in there. Be like, uh, be like, um, Chuck Tingle, and wear <laughs> yeah. a wear a bag on your head with sunglasses. <laughs> nice. Whenever you do public appearances. Perfect. But uh, yeah, no, it's uh, the whole show was uh really, in- it was enjoyable. It was pretty mm-hmm. heartwarming towards the end, I suppose. Except for the mom bit, as we covered, which was kind of yeah. like, I don't want to talk to this chick. Good on you for walking away from that. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's that's about right. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a... Uh, that was weird in general. Like, yeah, you haven't shown up to talk to me, I'm assuming, in her shoes. You haven't shown up to talk to me at like school or anything in ages. Mm-hmm. I guess she hadn't been going to school anyway, but still. Yeah. And then like you're just they, like, Hey, here I am. They were, they were estranged before she even became an adult. Yeah. <laughs> like that's, uh, I mean, I guess, I guess technically, uh, like you become an adult in Japan at 16 even though you're not out of high school. Mm. Like a, there there's a it's it's not entirely like unheard of for um like high school students to move out and live on their own. Gotcha. In Japan, um but still it's it's like emancipation in other countries except uh there's less hoops you have to jump through <laughs> mm-hmm. hmm well i'm an adult now i don't have to worry about it oh also i looked it up um and so uh teenagers are not allowed to work in bar bars but they they can work in restaurants that serve alcohol interesting which i guess a karaoke bar would count mm-hmm. we kind of have that thing here where you're not allowed to uh serve alcohol if you're a minor but you are allowed to work in a restaurant that serves alcohol right because we were we were wondering about that before mm. i'll be honest with you i completely forgot about it <laughs> yeah <laughs> And then they get fired at the end. <laughs> get canned because they just fucking dipped. Yeah. They were gone. <laughs> Didn't seem like a too popular place anyway. Yeah. <laughs> well, it seemed like the one time that they left was the one time it was actually packed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And even then, like, it was like five customers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the owner was just like... I don't want to have to deal with this by myself or just in general. <laughs> She's like, do work. Ugh. D- uh. I don't know if I have to really, I guess, I guess I like the, uh, I, you know what? I, you know what? There was a little, I, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Got, I got my brain in order here. There were, the, were there, uh, at the end part there where they're doing the final show. Uh-huh. And she goes down there, and she's super nervous. And then Mero says, look behind you, idiot. 
and then uh-huh. she sees the the jellyfish and stuff going on floating around in the snow and everything. I love the moment where she ran up and they're both going the wrong direction on the friggin' SDL. Yeah, that was yes. fantastic. It's really funny. Like, <laughs> you idiots. <laughs> yeah, that was that was fantastic. I was really hoping it was it was gonna be she looked back at uh uh Mahiro. Mahiro, yep, that's the name. <laughs> I was really hoping that's who she was going to be looking back to, and that'd be the inspiration because you know I'm sappy like that. But mm-hmm. uh, still nice, like the ending. Yeah. Also, I guess a little less, uh, you know, cliched and obvious of an ending. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I got. I'm a little sleep deprived right now. <laughs> oh, you're totally fine. Uh... I'm also tired <laughs> from work and not sleeping well enough. <laughs> Been doing but, a lot. Uh, I think like also like the, one of my absolute favorite scenes. Right, it was like just Kiwi going off at the arcade because like oh yeah, yeah that was uh it's just it is really hard to own yourself, right? Yeah. And like I don't know, it's always a relatable thing, but yeah, I I get why they didn't show any aftermath for that, but at the yeah, same time, because would, realistically, yeah, because realistically, like they would not have that would not have shut them down. That... No, it would not have. But <laughs> but at the same time, I was really hoping that I'd see yeah. something. Yeah, I don't know. I think that was uh, time constraints, probably. Still, yeah. It's 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 sort of one of those things where like you see somebody talking about that kind of thing online and where they're like, ah, oh, these these people were mean to me and then I stood up to them and then they were quiet. <laughs> um and that's just not how bullies actually work. Yeah. <laughs> that's how that's how like a parent's fantasy of bullies work. <laughs> So that's yeah. probably like a good reason why they didn't show aftermath of it, right? Because it's like, right at, at that point, it's not about the bullies; it's about right. the person doing that, and like that's all you need. Right? It's it's more. <laughs> yeah, they showed the. Part it was they more. Did. It was more therapeutic for Kiwi than yeah. <laughs> it was actually about shutting people down. If this was a if this was a shonen, they would have gotten a cool fight afterwards. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been <laughs> kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> I like uh, Mihiro at the end saying, I have a friend, a girl and who's a also a boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to remember parts from the ending. I remember, for some reason, the only part that sticks out in my head is uh, uh-huh. her talking to... Uh, Koharu, Kiwi, and talking to Koharu. Uh huh. I don't know why that that that's the only part that sticks out. <laughs> well, the the final episode is like it's a lot. Half a music video. <laughs> like half half that episode is a music video. Mm-hmm. I remember the maybe scene not half of like well, it's just one of those like still scenes towards the end, right? When they're just kind of doing uploading uh-huh. shit, but. I- the one that I mostly remember is just Mar- Mero and Akano sitting in the cafe <laughs> chatting. Yeah. Also, they 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 really like reusing that little alley with that jellyfish on the wall, don't they? That's been in so oh, yeah. many episodes. Mm-hmm. It's if nice it, that they repainted it at the end. Yeah. Yeah. If it if it were a TV show, I would say that they were saving on money by reusing the same set. <laughs> well. They can still reuse the background. True. Because that is how animation works. <laughs> yeah, it's just like conveniently thought out that that like it's really important to the plot. <laughs> yeah, it's the MacGuffin. It was funny seeing um, I forgot her name, but the idol who's actually a thirty whatever year old mom. Oh yeah, is now like a. A mukbang streamer. Yep. 
Yeah, that was that was pretty great. Uh, <laughs> I forget what the the reply to that was. I think it was a it was like, oh, so they're just letting YouTubers do anything now, huh? Or Y tubers? <laughs> Wasn't she eating just fried butter? Yeah, the last scene of her was like <laughs> just fried butter. <laughs> uh, so I will admit to having tried fried butter, and I can tell you, it's basically just breading. I mean, that yeah. makes sense, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, all the butter melts it's, out, obviously. Well, yeah. It's like a dough ball, just a fried dough ball. Tastes good. Obviously not good for you. Anything yeah. fried tastes good, though. Would it be better it, if it was more like a fried ice cream, right? Where, like, it was still cold and solid in the middle? Just like a tortilla shell type situation. I yeah. think that would be worse. <laughs> yeah, yeah you know what? Asking. Yeah. <laughs> You're biting into just a stick of butter. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Could they use vegan butter for me? I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> Margarine instead. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Um. God, I. I'm, thirty, and, I can't imagine eating like a big plate of fried butter and then not getting horrible heartburn afterwards <laughs> yeah so for for somebody who's 42 <laughs> mm. <laughs> i feel maybe. like i feel like she's taking a lot of antacid after that <laughs> maybe she's just built different <laughs> just built different she's got that uh, unnatural edge like uh, Michael Phelps where she doesn't oh smell. yeah <laughs> <laughs> she just immune to heartburn yep man I'd kill for that because I tell you acid reflux sucks yeah <laughs> I didn't see them I did not see the mukbang pivot coming no <laughs> of course I also didn't see Kiwi being the one delivering it coming either yeah <laughs> Also, why don't we have those friggin' roofed uh, scooters here? Those mopeds that have a roof on them. Those are cool. Oh, yeah. I think I think we should have more of those. Yeah, that's, that's like a good thing, but I think it's just that, like, we don't have, like, vehicles often that are, like, given to delivery drivers, right? It's usually like they use their own. Right. True. We barely yeah. even have uh, delivery drivers for companies anymore. We just have Uber. Yeah. Yeah. Domino's, I found out the other day, still delivers because I saw one of their cars going by. Someone oh, with yeah. a little sign on top. Mm. No, mo- most pizza places still deliver. That's um, true. Domino's, Papa John's, Pizza Hut. I don't think most of them put signs on top of their delivery cars, though. I think only Domino's does that anymore. Yeah. It did make me think of getting Domino's, so it's working. Yeah, I think that's the point. <laughs> um, Yeah, no, I think uh, for the most part, I don't, like I said, I just, you know, I enjoyed it. I like the second half more. First half uh, bored me a little, personally. I, I need lots of stimulation. <laughs> but uh, second half, I really enjoyed. There was things going on that I could follow and get involved in. Yeah. Every time Mihiro was like, I hate my art, I'm like, yeah, every artist does. <laughs> Welcome to the club. Yeah, I was like, you know, that's the most common thing that I hear about, like, visual artists is, like, they they fucking hate their art they hate everything that they do (laughs) it's because you're your own biggest critic right yeah you're just too close to it like all you see are the flaws yeah i mean for me it's more like like i i hate the stuff that i i look back on and i'm like oh this is i i uh like i've gotten so much better than this and this is this is like cringe to see all the mistakes that I made that I've, I've gotten better. Hmm. 
Um, but like most of the time when I, uh, when I actually like put something out and it's fresh that I'm like, yeah, I'm proud of this. You know, what's wild to me is I didn't know that was a thing also for, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, the, what's the word for it? The doc video, doc, uh, documentaries, but like the, the YouTuber thing. Oh, video, uh, essays. video essays. Yeah. Yep. I didn't know that was a thing for video essays because I assumed, I guess you would think, oh, well, I could have said this or I could have said that, but I would still think yeah. overall you'd mostly be proud of it. I didn't actually learn until recently that that was a thing. I thought it was more just on the art side. Right. Which that is an art, but it's a uh, more talking. So I guess I figured right. it was less affected by it. Well, it's also writing. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's just like most creative works are that way, right? Like, right. You're always going to like make things differently later than you would have when you were younger or earlier on in your like experience. Yeah. No, yeah. I mean, like, I recently uh, had a video that I just made uh, blow up. Oh, wow. Kind of. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I released it and it wasn't, it wasn't getting a lot of traction and I was immediately just like focusing on what I did wrong and what I could approve on. And then, uh, it started blowing up and I was like, oh, maybe, uh, those flaws weren't actually as bad as I thought they were. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I, I still know that I could have, I, I definitely could have done better and there were mistakes that I made, but it was like, I was, I was thinking that those mistakes were stopping people from liking the video, <laughs> you know? Mm hmm. Well, with how the algorithm on YouTube is right now, I can tell you personally that I get recommended videos with basically no views on them randomly now. Yeah. Which is something I, that didn't used to happen. Huh. I honestly like that. No, yeah, that's cool. I haven't oh, yeah. been using, like, YouTube as YouTube for a long time, so I don't really know uh -huh. how the algorithm is at all anymore. That's... I'd say oh, it's I've my been, main source of entertainment. Yeah, I've been on YouTube and like regularly uh for probably like 15 years now. <laughs> uh -huh. It's been a while for me, yeah. Yeah. At least since I was like in middle school. But yeah, I get I get random videos and I, a lot of the times they they're it's got some al algorithm stuff going on for it cuz they're geared to me. They're kind of they're usually kind of weird videos, but I found a uh, I found a guy that was uh there's two different guys I've found actually the new one I can't remember the name of because he's new right but there was uh -huh. a guy a guy whose channel was just I am Baghead every mm -hmm. one of his videos has less than two thousand views some of them less than five hundred and they're all like thirty second videos not really any music that barely any sound he doesn't talk he's just a guy in a suit with a bag on his head. A phone rings, <laughs> he reacts to it weirdly, and then the video ends. <laughs> this is the start of a creepypasta, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like it, but yeah, no, a couple years ago I found him, and I was like, you know, that's pretty wild. And recently I got suggested another person that's similar, does stuff similar to what he did with a similar aesthetic. And I was like, okay, so sometimes YouTube... We'll just throw you something. And I've even found videos that are like 14 years old suggested to me like during the past week that barely have any views on them. And I'm like, okay, well, that's different. Yeah, I get recommended um, live streams with like no viewers a lot huh. for some reason on YouTube. <laughs> I think... Uh, I think it's I think it's because I mostly consume gaming content. So it's like, oh, you want to watch uh this streamer play game. 
Mm -hmm. I'm like, I don't know what that game is. <laughs> yeah, no, that's pretty much my. Uh, if it's got if it's got an interesting thumbnail, and I don't mean interesting as in like the typical. Here's a guy's face. He's pointing at a knife or something, and it says these are weird. I mean, like. Here's a strangely distorted face that looks like a monster and it's got a colorful background. It has no other descriptors to it. I clicked on a video that's literally has no name and the, the channel name is just a bunch of random symbols. Not in any language. Why? Because it's weird looking and I want to click it. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what gets me clicking stuff. Yeah. So I guess that's why I get weird stuff recommended to me. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube knows what I like. Anyway, uh, anime good. Anime good sometimes. This anime Some, good. This anime good. Yeah, yeah. that's better. <laughs> yeah, anime, anime good sometimes. Anime swings pretty widely. On the good <laughs> Every anime. single anime is so good. Yeah, <laughs> every anime. It's a little bit of sweat coming down As... my brow. Like I don't know. Today we're sponsored by Exoprimal uh... <laughs> and Crunchyroll. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, as uh, as Akira Toriyama once said, or not, not that guy. What's uh? Go ahead, mis misattribute it. Everyone does it no. all the time. It's fine. <laughs> no, uh, Miyazaki, oh. Hayao Miyazaki, uh, once said, um, anime is perfect. Actually. <laughs> oh, okay. That sounds that sounds like an accurate quote. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh... <laughs> The reason I had to get the name right was because uh, it was actually the opposite of what he said. <laughs> <laughs> that was the joke. Like I said, it sounds pretty accurate to me. He said, uh, he actually said that anime is trash. Oh. <laughs> said I've, anime was a mistake. I think I've seen the thumbnail, probably like right. the meme yeah. for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of applies to all animated media in some ways <laughs> <laughs> well yeah cause like in Japan they just call any animated media anime like Family Guy is an anime in Japan <laughs> check out the, did you see the new American anime don't forget yeah. King of the Hill yep the best American anime. <laughs> I need to watch that. I've never actually watched it. Yeah, I've caught I've caught like episodes here or there on TV and I've watched a lot of YouTube poop <laughs> of it. <laughs> I, w I watched it growing up a bit and I can tell you it's it's pretty good and it holds up pretty well. It's it's a generally you, you know who Hank is. He's a generally conservative guy, but also a generally good guy who tries to be okay with what the newfangled stuff kids are doing circa 1990 whatever the hell <laughs> which like, is how i feel like most actual like conservatives especially around here are like where it's just like yeah they they have you know these conservative views but when you actually like go and talk to them in person they generally don't actually give a shit about your you <laughs> like your identity yeah uh, as long as as long as you're a nice person they're like generally okay to be around also sometimes they're like actively just like confused yeah like in my last job there's it was mostly just like conservative people right but like one of the like, people my age was just he was so close <laughs> to understanding <laughs> but he was like he hated landlords he was like i <laughs> don't know yeah he got along oh. really well but he never really quite i guess figured it out <laughs> yeah i had one of those people 
where, no, where yeah, they, have, I, they understand all the problem people and everything, but then they attribute it to the wrong source, and you're like, oh, you're so close. Yeah, I work in security right now, so I <laughs> I meet a lot of people who are generally conservative, but also like usually decent people uh -huh. because they're not cops. Yeah. <laughs> They're not, like, just out there to get people. Yeah. Back when I did security, I had a lot of old retirees who were just there for the extra money. Yeah. I feel like there's there's two types of people who work security, and it's, uh, it's people who want to be cops and people who really don't want to be cops. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's and I, I mostly end up working with the latter. <laughs> I think retirees fall into the, into the people who don't want to be cops because they're too old. Maybe. I really don't know. I did meet one that was reading Mein Kampf once, so I don't I really uh... don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. All right. Well, we're about at time. Yeah. Uh, um we kind of final... ran out of stuff to talk about anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Closing thoughts. Go watch Jellyfish Can't Swim at Night. Although I bet they can in real life. Yeah. Oh, one one more thing that I wanted to uh, point out. Um, so this <laughs> this anime started with misinformation, and it ended with misinformation. <laughs> oh. Uh. So um. We we talked about the whole jellyfish swimming thing yeah um but uh at the end in the during the epilogue when they're uh when they're like repainting the mural um i think kano says something about humans having a a natural 25 hour oh yeah uh, yeah yeah internal i remember clock. that now that's not really true um i like it's so so technically uh if you don't have like external stimulus to um to like cue your your internal clock uh your natural circadian rhythm goes to about uh 24.2 hours mm. a day uh but it gets naturally like adjusted if you can see the sun <laughs> interesting if you have like environmental cues um and so you know they they only found this out by like doing uh collecting data from like people in like submarines and like bunkers and shit mm -hmm. As long as it wasn't those Who, creepy pasta things with the whole yeah. white room Russian ex sleep experiment shit. Oh yeah, Rush the Russian <laughs> sleep experiment. Yeah, as long as it wasn't something like that, <laughs> I'm fine with it. No. Uh yeah, it's like there's already plenty of evidence to show that like being secluded in a room without access to the outside world is very unhealthy for people so <laughs> anyway that's that's just a thing that i noticed that i wanted to point out <laughs> at the end anyway go touch some grass <laughs> it's healthy <Yeah>. for you <laughs> yep go outside every once in a while <laughs> especially if you're in the pacific northwest coming these next couple months yeah because it's going to be dark. Anyway, uh Arrow, where can people find you? Uh I guess you can find me on Twitter. Uh maybe I'll stream again. I've been thinking about it. So I have a Twitch I channel. I think you as well. should. Okay. That's my opinion. Thank you. I watched the stream for the first time in years yesterday. Wow. So I might actually uh, view someone's stream. So I've I might been look streaming at Fallout London. 
Oh, how's that? I did see that. That popped up in my feed, by the way. Yeah, it's uh, it's fun. I've been role playing as an American tourist. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great way. So to my be. intelligence is one. <laughs> it's That's a great, great way to be. Um, Chris, do you have any socials? It's a crazy question. Tell you what, I'll get back to you on that. Okay. I promise. Uh, and this is my channel, and also I have a second channel now. Oh. Uh, where I, I post um, gaming content. Uh, it's Alley Cat Twos. Like, like Alley Cat Blues, but replace it with the word two. That's like the number. I don't know. I'll get better at actually spelling it out. <laughs> you could have made it like twos, like those U twos or whatever. Was T O O Z? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway. Uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this time. I don't know what we're doing next, but Chris is going to pick it out. Oh, shit. Good luck, Chris. <laughs> it's your turn. All right. I'll figure it out. <laughs> All right. Goodbye, Sekai. Goodbye, Sekai. Sekai bye. I should probably stop recording. <laughs>